Good morning everyone, MMDA back on the road right now. They're on Edsa, corner of Scout Borromeo. Yesterday there was a lot of traffic in this area because of things like this. Buses coming in the third lane or fourth lane and then trying to cut across. So what they're trying to instill today is lane discipline, getting everyone where they're meant to be. What you see in the distance there is the MMDA ordering the buses to get into the correct lane. The problem is they go along in the private car lanes, they get as far as this and then they try to cut over and it causes a lot of traffic. I saw it yesterday. Alam nyo ba, papakita ko lang sa inyo kung anong ginawa nyo kahapon, ha? Ganyan ang ginawa nyo kahapon, ha? Ako sawang-sawa na ako sa inyo kasi ayaw nyo naman ang disiplina. Ganyan ang ginawa nyo kahapon. Kaya kami nandito. Sawang-sawa na kami sa mga rason nyo, eh. Ha? Pikita mo na nga. Sir, kaya gilid ko, kaya gilid ko. And um, what the bus drivers sometimes say is, hey, it's traffic in the bus lane. Why is it traffic? Because they keep loading and unloading where they're not meant to. They keep stopping where they're not meant to. They keep waiting where they're not meant to. Here comes an ambulance in the distance. You can hear the siren. how no one makes any effort to move out of the way for the ambulance. Right now Bong speaking to someone from this gas station about buses that are going in here and unloading passengers, basically using it as a terminal. And you'll see the guys uh, taking that sign off the sidewalk now. Private, pub, public, di ba? Bawal ang bus dito. Bawal ang bus dito. Alam nyo yan. Alam nyo yan. Huwag na tayong magpasensyahan kasi nagkocos tayo ng traffic. Halika dito, bumaba ka. Bumaba ka. Sasabihin ko sa inyo kung anong katratado ang ginawa nyo kapon, ha? Ay, Ben, sir. Biyak mo meka, kung sir. Kaya nga. Sanday, sasabihin ko nga. Ha? Kung bakit ako kami nag-cooperate ngayon, huwag na na ginawa ng mga bus sa aming kapon. Ha? Walang kadisiplinahan. So ngayon, kailangan natin ng disiplina dito. Ha? Hindi na pwede yung ano eh. Oh, yan. Yan ba ang disiplina na yung gusto natin? Ganyan ba? Ako, napipigun na ako eh. Ano ba gusto natin? Magtutulungan tayo o ano? Ha? Ano nga man natin nakalagay doon? Bawal ang bus dito. Private lang to. Doon dapat kayo ba? Ay, sundi. Parang ngayon, alam mo ba yung sign dyan? O, alam mo yung pala eh. Wala kasi po ba ito kaya dito? Kaya nga, hindi. Dapat diretso kayo. Wala, wala. Wala kasi mababa dyan siya kaya. Kahit na. Kahit na dito ka pa rin. Ha? Last time na to ha. Tama ka ba? And they're just issuing a ticket now for disregarding traffic signs to that bus. And one of the lady enforcers over here is asking this driver for his license. Uh, he just stopped by the sidewalk there, unloaded. They really have to use the bus stops, they have to use the terminals, not just loading, unloading everywhere they want. And it can put passengers in danger because sometimes they unload them in the second lane, third lane, and then make them run across Edsa. Anyway, you see, she's got the license, issued ticket, send him on his way. Misusing the yellow lane. He has his indicator on, but he didn't pull off Edsa, didn't pull in to any establishment, so uh, he'll be ticketed. These two lanes are dedicated and prioritized for buses because they move a lot of people. It's not an express lane for VIPs, it's for buses, it's for commuters. The idea is that yes, it's not as comfortable or as easy being commuter, but at least you'll have an express lane dedicated to the buses. So you see the tickets being written out now. Sometimes people will put their indicator on to try and trick in forces. Like, hey, I'm coming off Edsa, I'm coming off Edsa, I'm coming off Edsa. And then they just keep going and going. Because the only time a private car should be in the yellow lane is if they're exiting or joining Edsa. People often say you shouldn't have to make enforcers stand in the middle of Edsa. And that's true, you shouldn't have to, but unfortunately you do have to because that's the only way people follow the rules right now. One of the problems they've got right now is a lot of motorcycles have gone into the bus lane because it's becoming congested over here. As I mentioned earlier, the bus lanes are prioritized for buses, public transport, not for private use. So again, they're trying to push them all over. It's a tiring battle, it is, uh, but they need to try and instill discipline and get everyone on the same page. And the better the bus system, the more people that will use it, which means a reduction in private cars. Because ultimately, 
The volume of vehicles on ETSA, especially private cars, is overwhelming. And over here they're issuing a ticket to this motorcycle rider for wearing slippers. That's a dress code violation 500. Looks like he does have shoes so he can just change into them now. They just stopped this motorcycle rider now for being in the yellow lane instead of the motorcycle lane. Actually, he was going so fast that he couldn't stop for the first few enforcers that tried to flag him down but uh, stopped further along the road, handing over his license now. CCTV, free Wi-Fi, GPS, PWD, RAM, speed limit, but still look at how many people are on board. Not very comfortable. So certainly there's a long way to go with public transport. Thankfully DOTR are working on a lot of different projects, extra trains for the MRT, new train stations, for instance, Cavite and BTEX. Uh, new P2P routes, the subway, Metro Manila subway. So a lot of work is being done, but for sure it's hard for commuters at the moment. And over here they're issuing another ticket for a dress code wearing slippers. So Bong had to go ahead. There's a Senate hearing on MMDA clearing operations. I came over to Qmart and what I noticed is there's a lot of motorcycles and tricycles counterflowing. They're not allowed on EDSA anyway, and now they're counterflowing. There are some guys over here telling them, hey, don't do it. Actually, they also sent another guy over there to warn them not to do it uh, because they know I'm here making a video. What I wonder is why there's no enforcers in this area because look at all the pedestrians having to walk in the road because the Kuma have occupied all the sidewalk with parking. And this is something they could easily rectify. Instead of having cars park on the sidewalk, modify your private property so there's space inside. And instead, you know, pedestrians walking in the bus lane. That's how people end up dead. Anyway, it's going to be a short video today because like I mentioned, Bong did have to go ahead counterflow motorcycle. Can you imagine counterflowing along a major highway? Incredible. What I've noticed further along is a lot of people standing in front of one of the terminals trying to flag down the buses. Big sign up there, no loading, unloading, waiting any time. And this is part of the problem. Commuters need to do their part to make sure they actually go to the proper bus stop or the proper terminal. You see that bus has stopped now, loading, unloading. This one didn't even stop moving, kept rolling the whole time with people jumping on and off. The driver did the right thing, he waved everyone forward, he said he's not stopping. So you see they're now running along. And uh, that's good to see, at least some bus drivers are on board with the discipline. So you see right now, this bus blocking one and a half lanes to load, unload. This bus blocking one lane. So now no vehicles can actually pass behind them. Absolutely incredible and again there are big signs over there no loading unloading multiple signs and uh, you know everyone has to be part of this look the red bus has also joined the queue so kind of mayhem thankfully